good to see you, creator. This no-nonsense tutorial will show you how to add a clock on OBS. Here's a breakdown of what you'll learn right now. The first thing that we're going to do is install the plugin for the first time, and all it is is a Lua script that adds a drop-down source to your OBS program. Then we'll review the different settings that the plugin offers in regards to different graphics that you can select for the clock. Then we'll discuss how to add your own custom clock. Believe it or not, you can do this with this plugin. It's quite simple. And then we're going to dive into the Lua script itself and add the capability where you can add extra custom clocks that you design into the plugin. It's really cool. You're going to love it. And it's really simple. Let's get some. Okay, let's get this thing installed. First things first is to turn off your OBS program. It will not recognize the new changes that you apply without first turning it off. Okay, next thing we need to do is get to the right location at the obsproject.com website. All you really have to do is do a Google on the following. It is clock source dot Lua, L-U-A, hit enter. And Google will return the right location right off the bat. The first link you see is correct, usually. Click the link. If you don't see this page, I will put a link in the description so that you can get to the right location quickly. You know you're at the right place when you're at the blue website that keeps you guessing, and the title is clocksource.lewiscript, okay? You'll see a little image of the, uh, the uh, clocks here as an example of what you can work with. Uh, that's also an indicator that you're on the right place. Okay, click the Downloads button in the upper right-hand corner and save the zip file to your computer. Unzip that file to a folder so that you can see its contents. So let me show you what it looks like. I unzipped it to a folder and you get a Lua script called new-clock-source.lua and a folder called clock source. This contains all the different clock options that you have with different hands as well, which is really cool. Okay, so we want to go back and copy these two things and put them into your working OBS Studio directory. So in this case, it's on my C drive. I go to program files and scroll down to OBS-Studio, and this is where you should follow along now. Go into Data, OBS Plugins, go down to Front End Tools, and then put it inside of Scripts, okay? So that's where you paste, boom. So now you should have the clock-source folder in there, and you should have the new clock-source Lua script in there, okay? Now you can turn OBS Studio on. Okay, now it gets fun. Let's go into OBS and take a look at the available settings. Here we are in the analog clock scene that I've created, and we're going to click the plus sign under Sources and select Lua Clock. And we'll list, we'll name it Lua Clock. I think that's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. And as you can see right away, we get a clock that appears. Now, it's pretty simplistic, you know, cut and dry. We do have options, though, and this pull-down for face style allows you to select different graphics as your clock face, which is pretty darn slick. The only issue I have with it is that when you put the graphic over dark edges, you can see that the edges have a little bit of white tint on the edge. See it there? Just a tad. Um, and I think that's because the type of graphic that the, that the Lua script is working with is a ping, but it's not a ping 24. It's just the regular ping. If it was a ping 24, we wouldn't have that edge. So that could be a concern if you're going to place the clock over like a dark edge. But, you know, for the most part, I think it's okay. Not only do you have the ability to change the graphic for the actual clock, but you can change the graphics used for the hands as well. So if I click properties for the scene, you have a hand style as well. So here's a tapered version and here is a fancy version. And you can make out the edges because they, these two are also regular pings, not ping 24s, but regular pings. So it's kind of funky. It, it kind of irks me a little bit, but I think I can live with it. Okay, now let's add our own graphic to one of the clocks. So here we are in the working folder. We're in OBS Studio, Data, OBS-Plugins, Front End Tools, Scripts, and Clock Source. That's the folder that contains all the clock graphics that you can choose from in this Lua script, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the school clock to be a more cool three-dimensional kind of a clock. First thing we wanna do is not delete the original, so we'll just hit Control-C and Control-V and make a copy of it. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the dial1.ping, which is the school clock, 
in your favorite editor. In my case, it's Photoshop, so I'll just double click it. And here it is here. And I'm gonna delete the existing graphic in here. I just wanna get rid of it because I wanna keep the actual graphic size but just get rid of the pixels inside of it. And what we have here is a cool school clock. It looks more realistic. It's got three dimensional capability to it, but it still has the hands. Now, if you're wondering where I got this, I'll let you know. There's a fantastic website called Pixabay. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but all the videos, the graphics, all the vectors, everything on this website is 100% commercial free. And best of all, it requires no attribution. So to let you know, all you have to do is type in clocks here or clock scroll down and there's the clock and it's an actual transparent ping it's already been masked out for you it's fantastic so back to photoshop i have it here i went through and removed the hands all right so that we can superimpose the existing hands that the lewis script uses and i'm going to highlight it copy it and paste it into the very same square that oops here we go copy paste it into the existing graphic with the corresponding dimensions. That's important. It's got to be the same size. And then we just save it as dial one. So I'll save it for a ping, hit save. And I will go to this PC, uh, C drive, program file, scroll down, OBS Studio, data, OBS plugins. No, yes, OBS plugins. And then we go into front end tools, scripts. And clock source. I know that's, that's I know that's a lot of subdirectories. And then we select the original. It's dial one dot ping. Hit save. Hit replace. Okay. So the new file's there. So now what we need to do, I believe, if we go into the program, I haven't shut it down or brought it back up again. It should just work. Let's see what happens. I'll go into properties, and I will select school. Let's see what happens. There, there it is. So I added a new a Lua clock instance to the right just to show you why the hands are too long on the left clock because it's designed for clock faces that have the numbers closest to the outer edge. So that's why the new school clock seems to not really work well because the hands are too long. The hands think the numbers are farther out to the outer edge. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to teach you how to allow the Lua script to recognize new clock faces and new hands so that when you go into the properties for one of the clocks and you click the face style pull down, a new selection will be there for both the font style and the hand style. It's going to be really fun. We're just going to dabble just a little bit in the Lua script itself. Come on, let's check it out. Okay, here we are in the OBS studio forward slash data forward slash OBS dash plugins forward slash front end tools forward slash scripts where the Lua scripts reside. Okay, and we want to go into the clock source. When you look at this, you obviously see the naming convention for the clock faces, right? Dial, dial one, dial two, dial three, dial four, PNG. If you were interested in creating your own custom clock face, logic would dictate that all you have to do is paste in the clock named dial5.ping. But when you start up OBS after making the necessary changes and you create the clock source, the Lua clock source, hit OK, and you select the face style pull down, it doesn't show it in there. So that's when we have to dig into the Lua script. So go back into the folder called scripts and find the new clock source Lua. Open it up. Now you can open up this in a text program. I use something called brackets. It's hundred percent open source. It's free, super great program. If I double click it here, it is here. So take note of lines 47 through 51. Can you see what they've done here? The script looks at the number after the word dial and assigns a name to it. So if I, if I copy this one line here that says script four, I'm going to copy it, add it below it, and I'm going to change the script name to Scott clock. And then I'm going to change the four to a five. Then I'm going to hit save. And then I'm going to go back and restart OBS. Go into my Lua clock source, right click, go into properties and go into the face style and select Scott's clock. And now it changes it. There it is. <laughs> okay. So the same thing is true for the clock hands as well. 
Okay, I went in and made a modification to the minutes, the hour, and the second hand. As you can see here, I now have a minutes three, a seconds three, and an hour three. There it is right there. So now what we need to do is go back into the Lua script and add a new set of hands. So if you look from line 54 to 56, copy the fancy line on line 56. Add a new line and paste. Change fancy to Scotty or whatever you want. And I'm going to put a number three in here. And what that does is as long as your hands are named appropriately, it will just automatically work, which is really great. So if I hit save, go into OBS Studio, I will change the clock to the school clock because remember the hands were kind of funky there. What I did was I made the, the hands a little bit uh, smaller in, in height. Go into properties. I'm going to change it to the school clock. And then I'll go into the hand style and type in Scotty. And there you have it. it works beautifully. The hands are a lot smaller now and it looks pretty natural. Okay, now if you follow me over here to this video, I will help you understand how to add date and time to your OBS live stream. It's very simple, super easy. It is also a Lua script and you're gonna love it. I will catch you over there. Stay strong and keep fighting and get, get some. some. I'll catch you on the flip side.